Hello, internet. So, I've been seeing a lot of porcelain corsets online, and I decided that I wanted to make my own. So, I've also wanted to make a video on how I made it. So, if you'd like to find out, please keep watching to see how I make this. Okay, so now I'm going to start wrapping myself in this. I have a dress form beside me that I could use, but I really want it to be the exact shape of my body. So we're using that in my body instead. Yeah. Um, you don't need to pattern the booby cups. You just need this part, the bottom part of the corset. So I'm gonna start wrapping myself in tape and this is gonna take about 12 years, so I'll see you in 12 years. <laughs> So I've wrapped myself pretty tightly because it's a corset and I want it to snatch me. Um, you kind of only need one side though because then you're gonna mirror it to the other side so that your pattern is completely symmetrical. So now I am going to bring you over here with me because <laughs> I need to uh, start drawing this on. tape all the way around even though I'm not using this side is because if you don't it's not gonna snatch you like this but yeah that looks that looks good that is the shape that I want so I'm gonna go ahead and cut myself out of this god I look like garbage I'm sorry I'm gonna go ahead and cut myself out of this and then I'll come back with this piece cut out okay so we have this piece now I'm free so now we're just gonna, I'm gonna back a little. So now we're just gonna cut it out. Okay, and all of this goes in the trash. And now you are left with this. And this is your pattern piece. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to lay this on top of our craft foam and we're going to cut it out. It doesn't sit completely flat. Let me see, is that gonna be an issue? It shouldn't be. I can get it to lay flat enough. Otherwise I'd have to put a dart in it, but I don't wanna do that because I don't want any seams or I want minimal seams. But yeah, so we're gonna transfer this to foam, but we're not gonna do the foam in two different pieces. We're gonna do it all in one piece. We're gonna trace this side, and we're gonna flip it over, trace the other side, and cut out the whole thing. You can see that this side is a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna trim it down some and make sure it fits. 
Okay, so I have my warbler here. Um, now we need to trace this onto the warbler. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. But I'm going to flip over the rough side of the warbler. There's a smooth side and a rough side. The smooth side, usually you put on the inside because it's more sticky. But um, I want this base, like the surface of this, to be as smooth as possible. So I want the smooth side, the smooth gluey tacky side on the outside. And I want the rough side on the inside. So I have the corset. So I'm gonna lay it down, face down here. And I'm just going to trace it on. Where's my shirt? And I'm going to leave maybe a centimeter on the outside as I trace because we're going to fold over the edge once we attach it to the foam. So we trace this on and I'm going to put an X on the sides that are going to connect that way I don't forget. Now I'm going to cut this piece out. So I'm going to set the warbler to the side and then I'm going to take my warbler scraps and also set them to the side because I like to save them. Um, one thing you're going to need that I forgot to mention is a heat gun for the warbler. Let me be a little closer so you can see better. You're going to need a heat gun. Um, you should not do this directly on your floors, but uh, I am. Just don't do it. <laughs> going to shape this to her body. Pretty simple. Just make sure it's not too hot so you don't burn yourself. But you're literally just gonna do this. And you're gonna hold it there until it sets. Okay, so now we have the 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 main part of the corset. I don't know. And it just goes around your body like that. Pretty easy. So now we need to make it will become do that. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, no, I'm not doing the same thing. What am I saying? Okay, so to make the booby cups, you wanna take this, you wanna set it down on your war glove, on your shirt. And now we are going to draw around this like that. Usually I would do two layers of war glove for this. But I kind of don't want to because I want to save as much warbler as I can. 
So I'm just gonna try one. If it doesn't work, then I will do two. The reason you're supposed to do two layers of Warbla is when you stretch it over something so thinly, it can rip. But I think if I'm careful enough, it should be fine. Okay, so I know this is probably weird, but I think this is gonna work. I'm gonna take a tiny ball of lotion and I'm going to cover this ball in it. That way, the word blood doesn't stick to this. And I'm gonna put the rest on my arms. <laughs> I'm taking a swimsuit top of mine and I'm laying it over the top because I want to get a feel for what I need to cut. So, whoops. let's see, I'm gonna find the cleanest edge, which seems to be right here. And I'm going to draw. Being mindful of all of the wrinkles you see right there, I'm gonna draw around it. So now I have this shape. Then take this. Let's see, where do you want this to go? Let's say about right there. So I've marked where I want it to end. So can be a little bit tricky to get it right. Using the breastplate to mark everywhere I need to cut. It looks like it's about right there. About right there. Okay. So I've made two lines. One here, one here. And then, is that right? Does that seem right? Doesn't seem right. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just show you when I'm done. <laughs> and I haven't made one of these in forever. <laughs> okay, this is gonna look like a mess, but the shape I have decided on is something a little bit like that. Gives me some room to play with the filigree a little bit. So we're going to try to pop this out of here. Hopefully the lotion was enough. Come on. Oh, this is gonna be hard. I haven't done this in a while, so. Please let go. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, um, I got it off, but now it's inside out. <laughs> So we're gonna try to we're gonna try to salvage it. I don't, oh my god! How did I even do that? I don't even go me, truly. Okay, 
So I'm going to complete the other one because it's going to take me a minute. And then I will come back when I'm done. Also, when you cut them out, leave some space at the bottom that will attach right here. That way you have a little bit of material to attach it with because warbless sticks to itself. Okay, so while this one sets, I'm going to take this booby cup and I'm going to attach it to the breastplate. to do the same to the other side okay that was so difficult <laughs> next time I'm definitely using two layers of warbler to make the cups but I got it made it looks a little janky don't worry that will all be hidden when we prime paint finish it all of that jazz so this is the base shape we have let me can you this up just a little bit and it comes out looking like that, which is exactly what I wanted. Cool. Okay. So our next step, we need these to be a lot stronger. So I'm going to take wood glue, I think, and coat them. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do because I don't want this getting messed up when we add all the filigree and details and all of that stuff. Okay, so right now I am covering the entire, uh, I, want, I keep wanting to call it a chest plate um, because I'm used to making those, but I'm covering the whole corset in wood glue. Um, I think porcelain corsets are really pretty because of how smooth they are, like porcelain. So I'm trying to achieve that while also strengthening the cups on this since they are just one thin layer. Um, I'm probably going to apply like two coats. Um, I'll probably only need one for the body part. Um, it's strong because it has craft foam in it, but for the cups I will need like two. I'll just see what it what the finish is like because I, I don't want it to be textured at all. So we're just gonna have to mess around and see. But yeah. Okay, so I've made a bit of a mess, but um, I saw someone on YouTube take these silicone filigree molds and use them to create a hot glue, oh, focus, hot glue filigree. And uh, I wanted to try that because it seemed really easy and uh, time uh, efficient, I guess you could say, because I have marked here on my TV. I have marked here on the corset where I want to place, oh no, I just touched that, where I want to place everything. So what I'm gonna do is keep making a bunch of these and uh, I'm going to apply another layer of wood glue to this. This part's pretty smooth but this could be much smoother, especially this one because I messed it up. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how I do, hi Petunia. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I do those filigree molds. So, um, let's go ahead, this one is ready. So let's go ahead and pop it out. Very easy to do, boom. And then there you have it. The green mold. I know it might not be focusing, so I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna show you how I fill this in. Petunia, stop! <laughs> Don't mess with my foam. Okay, sorry I can't get super close up on this, but you basically just use the tip of the hot glue gun to push it into all the smaller crevices of the mold. It's super easy kind of fun. I like it. You just want to make sure you get the hot glue in there really well so that you get all the details. And then all you have to do is 
just let the hot glue cool down and set and you demold it. And as you see, I've already made a bunch of these. Um, this might be my last glue stick. I bought, I just bought some more, <laughs> but I won't be here till tomorrow. So we'll see if this is enough, but I'm going to go ahead and put another layer of wood glue on the corset and I'll be back. Okay, before I move on, um, I'm taking my soldering iron and I'm uh, soldering in holes for the eyelids so that I can lace it up in the back. Um, you should be really careful when doing this because this thing gets really hot. Make sure there are no cuts around and you should wear respiration uh, of some sort. Respiration? Respirator? Something like that? Yeah. You don't want to breathe this in. Am I doing that? No, but you should. properly primed now very shiny and smooth as you can see um, this part I could touch it the inside isn't fully dry yet but the outside is I just have to be careful not to dent it but yeah so I have marked where I want to glue all of the filigree so I'm gonna move these out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing and I'll probably need more as I go along but that's okay I don't even know where to start. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. but I have been gluing on, randomly but symmetrically, I've been gluing on all of the filigree and I think it looks really nice. This is what we have. And I actually ran out of glue sticks. I have more coming in tomorrow. I bought some, but they're mini glue sticks and I need full size ones. And I just ran out but I think I made it work. Um, part of me wants to do a little bit more detailing. I'll use super glue if I do, but yeah. So the next step would be, um, oh my gosh, some of these aren't very secure. I think I'm gonna uh, reinforce some of it with super glue. Just make sure these don't ever come off. Um, but yeah, the next step would be spray painting everything gold. And then after that, I will go in and paint the base. So I'm spray painting it gold for the filigree. And then I'm gonna go in and hand paint everything else carefully. Hello. Okay, so I spray painted it gold. It's so pretty. So I now have a bunch of paint and some brushes and I'm gonna go in with probably two layers of a base white color. And we're going for that classic white and blue floral porcelain uh, print. Yeah. <laughs> coat of white and now I am going to mix together some blues 
Um, based on my reference, you can see in this picture here, looks like it's just three different shades of blue. So I'll say like this one. Um, and honestly, I think I'm just gonna mix up my own. I'm actually gonna squeeze these out, see what they look like, and start painting while I have this Netflix documentary in the background. I finished uh, painting it and coating it in a clear varnish. The clear varnish is still drying, but it's really shiny, as you can see. Okay, so, um, hi, it's the next day. I forgot something. <laughs> I bought a bunch of pearls. I just dropped one. I brought, bought, I can't talk. I bought a bunch of pearls and I want to put them on it with some hot glue. I'm kind of concerned though, these really little tiny ones might not go on as easy, but we will see. I'm just gonna see how it works with a um, hot glue, okay. and we'll go from there. Okay guys, I think, oh hold on, let me turn this light on, Let's see it better, there we go. Okay, so I think I am finished with it. This is what it looks like, I laced it up in the back with some blue ribbon, and yeah. So I'm going to Ren Fair this weekend, and I think I want to wear it. Obviously, this is just me throwing on some pieces of the outfit. There's more to like put on. I'll figure that out later. Obviously, I gotta do my makeup. I'll probably wear like a white wig or blonde wig. I don't know, but not the point. The point is I finished the corset and I love it so much. Um, I can't breathe. <laughs> I don't have it tied really tight, so it's really comfy. So I can move around, I can sit then all that stuff but i feel really pretty and i'm really happy with how it turned out what do you think petunia you like it
I think she likes it. But yeah, I hope that this video was helpful. Um, and maybe you learned something. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, also, sorry, I sound like crap. I am sick right now. Uh, but this project kept me from going too crazy. I like it. I glued all these little pearls on. Yeah, the super glue is still drying. So I have to be careful. Yay. Wow, amazing. Amazing, Petunia. You like it? <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, that's that. Thank you guys for watching again. Um, I don't know how to end videos, so goodbye. <laughs>